Oh, we were neighbors. <laughs> he lived across the hall from us in our apartment. I had an apartment. Yep, and he was my next door neighbor. He was 701 and I was 704. How long ago was that? Seven and a half years. Yeah. So she was the girl next door. Um, I met her about eight years ago um, in the apartment that we used to live in. So I lived with my dad and stepmom at the time. And uh, you know, one day I saw her on the elevator. She's bringing her dog outside. Um, and um, and yeah, I mean, you know, from there we, you know, we didn't really talk much at first, but. to know each other a little bit and then uh, yeah a couple months later we were moving in together so holy crap yeah we went pretty quick you, you know pretty fast <laughs> Yeah, so I, um, I did, I did, yeah, 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 so I wanted to, um, you know, I really liked her, so, you know, we actually met down the street at uh, Papa Gino's, uh, yeah, we met there. Um, she actually, uh, I, I walked down there, it wasn't too far, she drove. Um, and uh, you know, we went together. We went to uh, Castle Island that night, so in Boston. Nice. We did a little walk. Um, I used to live in Dorchester. Same. I, we grew up there. Yeah, yeah. We're dot rats. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, um, you know, I, I think from from that night. I mean, it was. It was Me, because he sang to me. He sang to me our wedding song, and I cried and I told him I loved him. I remember that. Yep. That's so weird. And then I think I asked him to be my boyfriend <laughs> on May 11th, okay. 2015. You need to. That's you know where that was. Yeah. My house. I'll be back as soon as we get well, there. apartment. Our little apartment. apartment. Yeah, again, believe. Right? Remember that. Mm -hmm. I think he will. He probably, I, well, Peter remembers he's definitely that. frazzled today, so probably not, but. <laughs> yeah, so. He's trying to get you in trouble. Oh man, he is, yeah. Um, so, it was, um. It's kind of mutual. Uh, <laughs> I said the I, she said the love, and then we both said the you. That's what she said. Uh, uh, yeah, no. Do you know where that happened? Um, yeah, that would have been at. Uh, you know, it's fine. I heard it. Been at the apartment building that we uh, that we lived at, um, in Weymouth. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think. Um, I mean, I knew I loved her, um, and then I finally, you know, I said it's obviously more real whenever you actually say it. So. Um, Yeah, it definitely, it was yeah, at the apartment building, we were, I think, just hanging out, you know, um, just watching TV or something, and, um, you know, I don't have a, you got a pillow in the blanket, I hope.
<laughs> oh yeah. Because <laughs> you already know the answers, right? I do, I do. Right? Yeah. <laughs> He did. Do you remember where and when? Yep, it was in my car in the parking lot. Of our my apartment. We came home from Coops. Yep, we came home <laughs> Woo, from Coops. Woo, that's it. like to say yeah. the mother's here. We had some drinks and we came home and yep. And then I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so how long ago was that? Seven and a half years. Eight years. Wow. Yeah. Who moved in for the first kiss? I did. Yes, I know exactly. I know exactly where that was. Yeah. So once we got back from Castellano, we were pulling into the uh, the complex. car just kind of talking for a little bit and then I leaned over and I um I, just, I, I kissed her yeah and she she kissed me back so she didn't pull away no nope, no nope. good sign yeah 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 so we um yeah I I definitely remember that I almost I can place myself there actually right now Peter, words can't describe the feelings I have for you. After seven and a half years, I am still falling for you in every way. I know we've had our ups and downs, but honestly, who hasn't? I believe things happen for a reason, and it was meant to be for us to cross paths. Meeting you was the best thing that's ever happened to me. You have opened my eyes and shown me the ways to better my future and a path on how to get there. My turn? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got this, babe. <clears throat> Sarah, you are a warrior, a savior, and now you're going to be my wife. When I first met you, you were just a girl next door. Then you became the girl who lived with me from next door. <laughs> <laughs> When I first saw your beautiful face in the elevator of our building, <laughs> I had no idea I would fall so madly in love with you. It's certainly no surprise, though. Your beauty, your strength, and your courage, your overall being, it caught my eye, and from that day on, I knew there was something incredibly special about you. Sarah, I love you so much beyond words can even describe. But beyond these very words that I'm speaking right now. You're like a warm summer's day, every minute of every day of every single year. Sarah, I love just even saying your name.
thinking of you or when someone brings you up, it gives me butterflies like I can't even describe. For the last almost eight years, you have made me smile a little bit more and more every single day. Skylar means so much to me. I am truly honored to be part of her life. And when I look at her, I see a part of you. That part of you, you means every part of me. I have always needed you. I love you, Sarah. I love you, Skylar. Where are you, Dalton? Hi, Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Dalton. And I love you, baby Tatum. I wish you could be here today, buddy. With this ring, I take you to be no other than, no yourself. Other than yourself. With this ring, I take you to be no other than yourself. Trusting what I know of you. Trusting what I know of you. Loving what I know of you. And trusting what I do not yet know. And trusting what I do not yet know. I will respect your integrity. Have faith in your abiding love for me. Have faith in your abiding love for me. Through all of our years, and in all that life may bring, and in all that life may bring. Through all our years, and in all that life may bring, and through all that life may bring. <laughs> to have and to hold in sickness and in health, <laughs> in good times and in bad times, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live? I do. So now, by the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I now pronounce you husband and wife and you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>